Hi, I'm Nicole, and I'm the mom. And I'm Patrick the dad. Hello? Hello. Who is this? It's the doctor as the Nicole. Nicole is for you! I'm doing the laundry! I don't care! Let you do it! Jeez, woman! Hi, this is Nicole. Hi, I'm. I have the results for amniocentesis. What? <laughs> I have the results. For, for what? Your, your amniocentesis. Oh, okay. Um, so what were they? Come down to my doctor's office and I'll tell them to you. So when do you want me down there? Anytime would be fine. Okay, I'll be there. Bye. Patrick! Come in. Hey. Hi. Hey, come in. This is business, man. Yeah, we're going to get a divorce after this. <laughs> Hi, doctor. Hi, my name is Nicole. Would you take a beer from here? Are you, are you throwing things at me? You know what? You know what? You know what? That's my thing. Okay, Um. so do you have my results? Yes, I have your results from your amniocentesis. Oh, really? Really. Who smoke a cigarette too, um, huh? But we have good news and we have bad news. Let me hear both. Okay, the good news is that... You've um, got mail. Hold on. You got mail. mail? I have mail. Hold on. Let me just open this real quick. All that money got me oh wearing I got my beat on. Okay. Did you hit things? Really, there is no good news. But the bad news is your baby has dwarfism. Well, what is dwarfism? It's it means that your baby has a genetic disorder. Oh, no, you didn't. It's your oh, fault. Yeah. I was very surprised when I did your amniocentesis because there's only a 1 in 25,000 chance in having this. Oh, no, you didn't. It's your fault, too. But well, I got some questions. Let me spit them out. I'll help you, ma'am. I don't think so. <laughs> um, so what are the causes? Um, here's a handout. You guys can share this. Okay, you can take it. Dwarfism. Dwarfism. Dwarfism is a result of an autosomal dominant mutation in the FGR3, which causes an abnormality of cartilage formation. Yes. Uh huh. You mean like in your nose cartilage? No. Cartilage like in between your bones. Are you telling me I don't got no brain? Just because I have blonde hair? No. You asked, right. the, you asked the question, I answered the question. So what are some symptoms of this so-called dwarfism? Well, there's, there's many symptoms. They well, him. The symptoms last a long time on the list. See, so you have to deal with they, it. It's ridiculous. Can, can I read the symptoms? I have it. They... Mr. Doctor. I'm tired of you. You know what? I think I need some smoke. An average... Hey. I'm sorry. <laughs> they have an average trunk size. Are you trying to get smoke with this? They're, they I was have trying an enlarged to head okay. the problem, man. with a prominent forehead. They have short fingers. The ring finger and middle finger may diverge, giving a hand and three prong trident. Are you listening? Yes, I'm listening. They have short arms and legs, and particularly short upper arms and thighs. They might have some health problems like obesity, breathing problems, and reoccurring ear infections. Okay, ear infections. Can we just get onto the point? <coughs> What's um, the point? So what about some like complications? <laughs> or is there any treatment options? Like my nose okay. job? Your baby... Your baby will be short. Like, 
The average person with dwarfism is only four foot and three inches tall. I think. No, four feet tall. Four feet tall. Because he goes fast. Four feet? Yes, four feet. Well, is there anything else you want to tell me, Mr. Doctor? If that is your real name. Um, okay. Could you not smoke in here, please? You smoking? Mm. You smoke. Dispose of this. Do you buy cigarettes? Dispose of that. Smoke you know off this? You s okay, can we just go, please? We played a new one. Are we done? No! I'm tired of you. Okay. Um, is there any other symptoms that you'd like to go over? Um, not really. Well, we're going over. Oh, Whatever. God. You know, I have a life. They will have like to... You get it, rep me? Do you want me to come over this table? Sure! I will come uh -oh. over this table. Stay back, man. Yeah, this one. They, their legs will be bowed. Okay, bowed legs. And their legs will go in. Gotcha. You know what that means? I'm tired of you. I'm tired of your attitude. Legs you know what? Go in. You know what? You know what? Hey. I'm out of here. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Hey, hey, hey. Oh. I'm leaving. Oh, well. And I'm stealing your computer. Get out of here. Oh. You can cut. Go, let's Gotta go. go. You know what? I think I've had a long day at work. I mean, these kids at school are like, oh. so how, how about we watch this pregnant movie that um that the doctor gave us? It's about a genetic specialist. Oh, we can watch the game. Um, I don't think so. I mean, let's do some important thing. Okay, so the game is important. Genetics by Harry Carey. Is this Harry Carey? It sure is Harry. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Well, let's watch it. Well, let me just go put it in our new TV. Are you kidding me? It's from 1977. Patrick, we're just starting out as a family. Just let it go. Uh, where's the DVD player? I guess it's like right here. Does it have a DVD? Well, we're going to make one. <laughs> Play. <laughs> Hi. I'm, I'm going to introduce you guys today about dwarfism. What are you doing? Hey! Stop that! This is stupid! Hey! Hey! This is, this is just real. Right, stop it! Gosh! Anchondroplasia can be detected before birth by the use of an ultrasound. A DNA test can be performed before birth to detect homozygosity, which two copies of the mutant gene are inherited and conditioned with this lethal and can lead to still births. Alright, now I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce this We're watching. name Mr. Knuckles. Come on down, Mr. Knuckles. Hey. That's it for today! <laughs> that was a rip off! I wanna watch the game. What is this? Like, two dollars? Is that because. Is there someone wait, in your house? Wait, who is that? <laughs> it's Eric Eric! Oh. You think Bob movie is a rip off? You're on the box! You're on the box! You're on the box! <laughs> 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 <laughs>